the Guardians of the Galaxy are currently saving the galaxy for the second time. And their new adventure offers us five post credit sequences at once. One of them certainly raises a lot of questions. I am Groot. Mm -hmm. I am Groot. Uh -huh. In it, we see Aisha, played by Elizabeth Debicki, sitting in front of a mechanical cocoon that harbors Adam. What this means, who this Adam is, and why he's so important for the Marvel Cinematic Universe will be explained in this video. That's a really bad sign. Who is Adam? This Adam is Adam Warlock, an artificially designed being that was created by the Enclave in the comic books. The Enclave was a group of scientists that was hellbent on creating a science dictatorship on Earth. Their first successful project was Adam, who was bred inside a cocoon. With this creature that was originally referred to as him, the first step towards the dictatorship seemed to be done. But Adam rebelled against his creators, fled and traveled through space. <laughs> Fun fact, Aisha, who is introduced in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, was also created by the Enclave, just like Adam. The both of them therefore have a connection. They are like Adam and Eve for the Enclave, even though the Enclave never managed to use them for their goals. Wow, I know. During his travels through space, Adam Warlock found multiple allies, among others Gamora and Pip the Troll. The audience is already familiar with Gamora from the Guardians of the Galaxy films, and Peter Dinklage may play Pip the Troll in Avengers Infinity War. Adam Warlock also stumbled upon the mad titan Thanos during his travels. Why is Adam Warlock so important for the MCU? Adam Warlock obtains most of his energy from one of the Infinity Stones, the Soul Stone. He also plays a crucial role in the battle against Thanos in the comic storyline Infinity Gauntlet. Warlock assists the Avenger in taking down the Titan. Adam Warlock is extremely important for the MCU and especially for director James Gunn. The latter originally intended to make Adam a crucial part of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but decided to leave him out in order to make room for Mantis. No. According to recent quotes, Adam Warlock is set to play a major role in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, but not in Infinity War though. Whether or not this goes for both, Part 1 and 2 remains to be seen. Fine. I'll do it myself. Adam Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. The third Guardians film will come out sometime within Phase 4 of the MCU. Until then, there is still plenty of time to come up with a decent plot revolving Adam Warlock. And since James Gunn is an outspoken fan of the character, it shouldn't be too hard for him to give us exactly that. Especially since there is already an exciting story in comic book lore that could interest Gunn. In it, Adam Warlock faces off against the evil Magus. Supporting him in the fight are Gamora, Pip the Troll and here it comes, Thanos. That dynamic alone would fit the time after the events of the Infinity War. Even though we doubt that Thanos will turn to the good side, the combination of Pip, Gamora, the Guardians and Adam Warlock should work. The interesting thing about Magus is the fact that he is in fact an older evil version of Adam Warlock himself from the future. He traveled back in time and ruled over a religious empire also known as the Universal Church of Truth. And he is back now to turn his younger self to the dark side. Magus turned evil because of the Soul Stone in the first place. That all sounds just crazy enough for a James Gunn film. These odds are terrible. Mm -hmm. We need new odds. What? What do you think of Adam Warlock? How did you like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Let us know in the comment section below. And for more comic book characters, check out these videos.